we here. Matter of fact, I'm here. Welcome to the I Am. Aries, the Alpha. See, this is where it starts. Fire. See, when we're dealing with that fire element, that's awareness, baby. We can see. When you can see, that's the beginning of knowing yourself. First off, literally, first off. We coming straight out the first house. Cardinal fire. We creating, initiating the new ways of doing things around here. And we ain't got time. And we ain't got patience. Cause Mars, that's who's running shit around here. Now when we talking about Mars, we talking about your passions. We talking about your goals. Yeah, we talking about your desires. Overall, we talking about your intentions, baby. What type of intentions do you have in this lifetime? That's the realm Mars is swimming in when we're talking about fire and cardinal Aries. When Mars don't get to meet those passions, goals, and desires, now we're going to see the more negative side of Mars. And that's anger and frustration. And we don't really want to see that side. see that side now this is a powerful energy family our Aries themselves can tell you it can get overwhelming with this type of charge with this frequency vibration this star constellation that we're talking about when we're talking about Aries we need that type of charge to get to the root of who the self is so when we're talking about the Aries let's just make sure that we have awareness of self understanding that with this type of energy the spirit is the one who has to be aware of what it's utilizing at the moment you have to understand that we can be enticed by the positive and negative attributes that come with these lights that we call star constellations lessons in this lifetime will come from balancing so with all this passion and all this fire, the life lesson here is to make sure we don't overwhelm self. We have to learn to relate to others. This is a relatable world. I am Aries. Now here the theme is What do I have? We're manifesting stability in this realm When we're talking about the Taurus energy When we dive into that earth element As a spirit Coming into these lifetimes We need to find ways to get grounded We need to find ways to get from point A to B find ways to deal with reality when we encounter that earth energy that Taurus energy specifically we got to see what resources we already have and we need to do these things in a practical sense with the influence of Venus here that's a bright light we talking about that love frequency vibration your pleasures how do you deal 
self-esteem every now and then And your self-esteem got a lot to do with your confidence And we need confidence to manifest stability here Taurus is gonna show you how to do the internal work Dealing with those type of energies to manifest the external stability And it ain't the bull for no reason Cause we talking about fixed earth family And when we talking about fixed energy We either consistent or stubborn Planting the right seeds Nurturing and watering that garden Is gonna grow into the same things that provide forms of stability in this lifetime Go ask the Taurus, they'll tell you about it Shit, they're already used to people leaning on them all the time like a tree Foundation, growth, security, stability, practicality Everything needs a solid foundation to grow And that's the influence that Taurus gives off And when we're talking about growth Correlate that to that earth energy That earth element is gonna show you how to deal with reality But let's not forget One of the most giving signs of the zodiac Venus wants to make it pleasurable at home Also for those who enter its world Dealing with such a powerful energy We want to make sure we have positive values Every Taurus got some values that they're willing to put to the forefront Whether you know what they value or not They're doing what they gotta do to stabilize being comfortable in this realm Cause when Venus needed me her pleasures, she gotta meet her pleasures Growth is the overall pursuit of a Taurus Gem for my Taurus is out there Since a lot of you bear Great fruit from your tree Continue to water that garden And associate yourself With those who don't take advantage Don't let stubbornness Block opportunities that's already waiting for you Taurus Cause making sense Is what makes sense When we're talking about a Taurus And you can take that In every metaphorical way The Taurus Mercury. Your modality is mutable. Your element is air. And this means you're multifaceted. Your motto? I think. I think. I think. I think. As a Gemini, your brain is your superpower. Being an intellectual air sign and ruled by planet Mercury, the planet named after the fast footed and quick witted messenger to the gods. You think on your feet and can out with the best of them. Blessed with the ability to talk to just about anyone, you thrive on conversation, scintillating tidbits, and mind fucks. When given the chance, you can whip up ideas at the speed of light that can not only feed and change minds, minds but can change the world too. Change the world too. As an air sign, you need your freedom and to be able to come and go as you please. Carefree and bubbly, you rarely, if ever, take anything personally and tend to approach life more like a game or a puzzle to be solved. And if there's anyone that can solve this puzzle of life, this great cosmic riddle, it's you. It's you. Because you're the sign of the twins, a multifaceted sign, you always know how.
how to find the common denominator that links everything together. For you, it's never really either or. It's both and. Just because you can see all sides to a situation, 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 doesn't mean you need to be open to all of them. In love. In love. In love. You like to keep your options open in and out of the bedroom as routine. And boredom aren't your thing. The way to your heart or into your boudoir is through flirty banter and witty conversation. Sex club membership optional. Again to Leo. Now we're talking about fixed fire. See, Leo's got the ability to remain fixed on that vision. That sense of inspiration, some other spirits may catch every here and there. Nah, Leo. 
Yo, they know how to stay ten toes on that throughout their whole lifetime. Y'all know when we're talking about fire, we're talking about feelings. Y'all know we're talking about seeing. Put that together with the charge of the king of the jungle, the lion, the lionesses out there. We have the rulership of the sun. There ain't no masculine or feminine side to the sun. The sun is the overall masculine power that we see amongst us every day when we wake up in the morning. That's only gonna manifest into a Leo's light being seen every minute of the day, even when the moon is out. When we're talking about the ability to stay fixed on the things that inspire you every day, there's a certain vitality or charge that you're able to carry your days out with. This is what we learn from the Leos. Having a life this big and powerful, it may be difficult at times for a Leo to have to learn to balance when it clashes with the light of others. This is more so the lesson that a Leo has to live and experience. The sun comes out every day and it can't hide its power. Leos need to understand to meet this balance when they clash with the individuality of others. Just a gem that you could pick up from your opposite sign, Aquarius. The king of the jungle, there is no example for it to follow. Leo is the example of how to enlighten within. You are who we learn how to creatively express ourselves. You are the one that we look to, to understand that we must dive into forms of creativity in this lifetime. There is a frequency vibration that deals with having fun. There is an energy that deals with having a smile in our face and being able to be in arm's length with that same youthful like energy that we all have in our adolescent years. Being able to jump into this frequency vibration is a gift. There's no reason to overindulge in this energy, Leo. There's a time for serious matters. Others may see that not all situations in your life come off serious to you. These are the lens you need to make sure don't have any blemishes in, Leo. The king of the jungle. The I see. Others' ways of dealing with practicality. Birthed out of the sixth house. The sixth house shows us how to deal with organization, but in a day to day routine. How do we deal with scheduling? How do we organize our next couple of days ahead of us that will ultimately turn into the next couple of years? Virgos play assistant to those they care about by Mercury. Mercury governs how we think and communicate in this world. How we organize our thoughts and communicate them to ourselves in order to communicate them to others. Mercury is a curious planet. It's going to pick up the details on the way people communicate. It's going to pick up on the details on the ways people interact. It's going to pick up on the details about relationships. This also makes Virgo a curious sign, but more so curious on how people build foundation in their lives. Cause they're gonna use that as an example to build within their own. Also one of the most intelligent signs of the Zodiac, and they will be an influence of practicality, has one of the most keen eyes for proofreading, investigation work. Anything that involves critical thinking, a Virgo got it. They're always going to be an influence of how you get things organized on your day-to-day routine. And the way they attack these things with their mental helps them to find an answer to these issues. With the heavy and 
intense research that you guys have the ability to dig to the resource of your answers. Make sure you learn to balance this energy with intuition and learning to go with the flow with the vibe from time to time. Virgo, I analyze. of love and beauty and pleasure, you are living, breathing, walking ambrosia. Woe be unto the poor, unfortunate soul that attempts to resist your charms, because they won't be able to. You're too witty, too kind, and too gorgeous to resist. I mean, why would anyone not want to be around you? You make everyone's life that much better just by being your well-cultured, well-mannered, well-dressed self. I mean, many a song or poem could be written about the many men or women that would probably, no most certainly, give you their everything just to catch even a glimpse of your dazzling smile. Being the zodiac sign associated with the scales, you're always striving to bring balance to whatever you do. And you know that whatever it is you choose to do, you're going to do with style and grace. A true romantic at heart, you love love. And in love, you're at your best when you have your other half right beside you. That's why you need someone that will appreciate the effort you put into the connection and reciprocate the favor. But just remember, dear Libra, with all that you give to others, just make sure to hold space for yourself as equally as you hold space for them. Time things get a bit dark now. We can't always worry about what's on the external. We gotta worry about the substance behind the scenes. Welcome to the Scorpio constellation. Fixed water birthed out the eighth house. Everything about the eighth house is about the energy behind the scenes. Living in this world, we must understand the energies of ulterior motives, secrecy, Manipulation, learning to read between the lines, learning to deal with shared values and transformation of all sorts. The Scorpio energy understands this. In dealing with fixed water energy, a Scorpio knows what type of feelings and emotions they'd like to maintain throughout the day. Dealing with the feelings and emotions is a very sacred thing with a Scorpio. 
about the masculine side of Mars Pushing out those passions, goals, and desires But see, over here, in the 8th house, home of Scorpio Mars charges up a bit longer before it pushes out So when you're dealing with a Scorpio Understand that the passions, goals, and desires that they have may not always be at the surface Only those close to them understand what's brewing inside You must have a release or an outlet to channel and direct all the passion that you guys carry inside It's an everyday struggle to not be overwhelmed by these energies Especially with Mars swimming in these waters, dealing with all these feelings and emotions the goal here is to rise to the phoenix as a Scorpio. I desire. Welcome to Sagittarius. Mutable fire. Ruled by Jupiter. Education. Learning. Spirituality. Expression of self. These are all top priorities for a Sagittarius. When we have the frequency vibration of Jupiter here, Spiritual expansion is gained from new experiences, from new adventures. This is why Sagittarius are one of the most free-spirited signs of the Zodiac. One thing you don't want to do to a Sagittarius is make it feel like it's caged in any type of sort. Life is the biggest teacher. You best understand that. A Sagittarius will teach you that It doesn't really matter I ain't gonna say it doesn't really matter But to a certain degree What we could learn in a book May just be minuscule To the things we can experience In everyday life That's why a Sagittarius Seeks these new adventures And only wants to surround themselves Around those that can add on To these new journeys that a Sagittarius continuously wants to embark on in this lifetime. Life lesson for my Sagittarius. Of course, new experiences and adventures are the things that you seek in this lifetime because you understand these things bring you wisdom. However, these are the very mindsets that can lead to a chaotic life. Let's just make sure some practicality and organization are supporting and backing these adventures. Sagittarius. Capricorn, your planet is Saturn. Your modality is cardinal. Your element is Earth. And this means you're resourceful and ambitious. Your motto, I utilize. Capricorn, the boss. by the planet Saturn, the planet symbolizing self-mastery and ambition. You never wait or want to be told what to do because you're already out in the world doing it, building it, achieving it, running it. Gifted with the ability to build whole empires from the ground up, people look up to you for your integrity and expertise. Being as goal-oriented, determined as you are, you show the 
rest of us what it means to commit to a plan or a project and to never let up or give up until the work is done. And this, this work ethic, this discipline, this is the reason why you stay at the top and why the coin keeps rolling in. That, and the fact that you'll never do anything that you deem a waste of your time, because for you, your time certainly is money. As a person of distinguished taste and character, you attract your lovers through your enterprising spirit and down-to-earth vibe. Preferring actions over words, you don't want to be pinned down unless potential mates and dates are willing to do the work it takes to earn your respect and trust. But once you do let your guard down and you commit, you commit for life. Though, Capricorn, with you being as self-sufficient as you can be, it's important that you don't build walls around you so high and so thick that the light nor love can ever get through. Aquarius, your planet is Saturn. Your modality is fixed. Your element is air. And this means you're constantly changing. And your motto, I change. I change. Aquarius, you were never born to fit in. As a zodiac sign associated with the element of air, the element that symbolizes the rational mind, you leave your mark on the world by way of your bringing power and rebellious attitude. Your willingness to step outside the box and live there is what makes you one of a kind, a rare find. Kind of like your favorite limited edition comic book, or one of those conspiracy theories you found over on Reddit. And if we're keeping it a hundred, the term weirdo can apply to you too. But you don't take that as an insult. Actually, as a zodiac sign ruled by self-made Saturn, you pride yourself on the unusual and unconventional. But even as independent as you are, you never think twice about coming through for a friend in need or doing your part to help your community. Never give up who you are, Aquarius. Aquarius. What makes you lovable are the very things that set you apart from the crowd. And speaking of love, always remember that the person worthy and deserving of your heart is the one that gives you the freedom to totally be you. Last, but never least. Welcome to the Pisces constellation. Mutable water and ruled by Jupiter. And we can never forget about the influence of Neptune. Everything about a Pisces is dealing with connection. governs our dreams, fantasies, everything that is cultivated in your imagination. With that 
that being said, a Pisces helps you learn how to go with the flow and trust intuition. A Pisces is the one who you swim with without a concern when to land back on shore. Being able to bring our dreams down into reality is an everyday battle for a lot of us manifesting. The intuitiveness of a Pisces help them to tap into the frequency vibration of their dreams so easily. The lesson here is to make sure that we don't daydream too much and become disconnected from reality. But when we're talking about creativity, a Pisces is your go-to. They also know the unwritten laws to what's needed in a relationship when we bring up the love aspect. Pisces love love, but love is a powerful energy. So as a Pisces, we just want to make sure we're very aware of how we're dealing with that frequency vibration. And with the rulership of Jupiter, spirituality and learning is always top priority.